Okay, can't lie, this one's kind of fun. I'm just going to jump in. The statement reads, An iron rod of length L and square cross-section side A is given a uniform longitudinal magnetization M and is bent into a circle with a narrow gap with W as shown in the figure. Find the magnetic field at the center of the gap, assuming that W is much, much less than A, which is much, much less than L. Uh, the author gives a hint. Treat it as a superposition of a complete torus plus a square loop with the reverse current. That hint is amazing, by the way. You'll see it come to fruition really quickly. Let's draw it out. So we have a long uh, square cylinder bent into a torus or a donut, longitudinal uh, magnetization M curling around, and then we have one sliver cut out, so W equals, uh, or rather the gap is W as indicated. This should be really fun. All right, so further, we already know the bound currents. We've seen it in a couple questions already. Let's uh, hop straight to the solution. All right, so for the complete ring, we know that uh, KB equal M, so that the field inside the ring, or B ring, is equal to mu naught M. Straightforward, we've seen it enough times. The field of the square loop at the center was previously found, uh, I believe last chapter, um, and that took a lot of geometry to manipulate and to form, but B squared was equal to square root of two mu naught I over pi R, okay, but I, we have is equal to, um, the current is equal to M W, the little gap, um, and then R is equal to A divided by two in this case, since the length of the square is uh, A, divide that by two. Uh, let that sift through, and then we end up with mu naught M, two square root two W over pi A. But in applying the superposition hint, we need to put this as a negative. The current goes in the negative direction. So below, instead of adding them to find the total field, we take the B ring minus the square field. And when we do that, we can factor out a mu naught M, and we see that we have 1 minus 2 root 2 W over pi A. I love, love, love how this author puts things um, from previous uh, previous things found into new context and allows us to use the same kind of concepts of superposition and manipulation of previous results to find new results. Love, love, love it.